Hello folks, my name is Mohammad Mizbaudin and I am education provider of medical coding and I am teaching you about uh, the certification called certified professional coder. So in today's class uh, we will start learning about introduction or injection or insertion. So uh, let's start. Uh, introduction means insertion or injection. 11900. This is injection, intralesional. It means into the skin. If if uh, the physician is uh, injecting steroid into the lesion or lump or any other similar conditions like large nodules, then you will assign this code. And the number is given here up to and including seven lesions. This is the code for seven lesions. If the physician is uh, injecting steroid more than seven, example nine then you will assign this code 11901 there are some instructional notes here uh, 11900 uh, 11901 are not to be used for perioperative local anesthetic injection so if the physician is anesthetizing means the injection is related to anesthesia so you will never code from here again the steroid is injected in the veins so these are the related codes for the veins and for the intralesional chemotherapy administration these are the cancer related patients for that you have particular uh, codes 96405 96406 so in a steroid injection for uh, chemotherapy administration so you will use these codes then we have 11920 this is related to tattooing mostly the patients who suffers from white skin disease or any congenital defect or defect appear after breast reconstruction or burns or birth remarks or any other such conditions the physician will insert the needle into the skin and he will move the needle up and down into epidermis and dermis and he will introduce insoluble opaque pigments to permanently camouflage the defect of skin and at the end of the code description you can see including micropigmentation means it requires more precise technique and may require multiple sessions so this is the code you will use 11920 the centimeters has been given 6 square centimeters or less than that if the physician is mentioning he has corrected the skin defects up to 19 square centimeters then you will assign this code more than that if 21 square centimeters has been used then you will assign this code also with this 11921 and 11922 you will not assign all these three codes because physician is mentioning that 21 square centimeters 21 square centimeters he has to use this and use this two codes and we have uh, one more code 11950 subcutaneous injection of filling material what is this now provider injects the required amount of synthetic filler into the subcutaneous layer why he will use this collagen to cure the skin diseases like wrinkles and scars for these purposes this code will be assigned so the coder has to assign this 11950 the volume is also mentioned here 1 cc 1 cubic centimeters or less so you assign this code more than 1.1 uh, up to 5.0 cubic centimeters then you will assign this code up to 10 cubic centimeters you will assign this code 11952 over 10 cubic centimeters then you will assign this 11954 11960 this is the tissue expander for other than breast including subsequent expansion how the procedure happens the physician will prep drap and anesthetize the area after that he will make an incision in any area of the patient's body after that he will insert a temporary implant like silicone under the skin means under the deep fascia which also means between the superficial muscles or subcutaneous tissue then the provider closes the skin after placing the implant after that he will inject a saline solution into that uh, tissue expander then as a result the skin spans and tissue grows within few days for a surgery at a later date use for instance 
the provider may be able to use new tissue as skin flaps rather than using a graft so please remember this course include tissue expander other than breast also include subsequent expansion by saline then what about 11970 this is replacement of tissue expander with permanent prosthesis in this uh, procedure the physician will remove the tissue expander and he will place the permanent prosthesis permanent prosthesis means he will uh, use the wires or screws to hold that at particular place if coder has seen this screws and wires in the patient's report then assign this code 19970 this is replacement then this is 11971 removal of tissue expander without insertion of prosthesis what physician will do simply he will remove the tissue expanders and he will not insert any any prosthesis again so just removing the tissue expanders and he will close the area from where the tissue expander is removed so coder has to assign this 11971 then 11976 okay this is about removal of implantable contraceptive capsules basically these capsules are uh, implanted under arms for what to prevent pregnancies so if the patient wants or if that particular person want to remove that then the physician will remove so for that removing contraceptive capsules coder has to assign this code if you google about contraceptive capsules you will find many examples i mean many products related to this contraceptive capsules 11980 this is also related to hormone pellet implantation under the subcutaneous uh, tissue of arm this pellet will be implanted means inserted if this pellet implanted under the arm of female candidate then this will help to control the menopause if it is implanted in the male then there will be the deficiency of testosterone to prevent from the pregnancy this is uh, 11981 this is insertion of non biodegradable drug delivery implant this is also drug which is inserted under the arm just to prevent pregnancy this is non biodegradable if you google about non biodegradable drug delivery implants the many products you will see sometimes physician will mention the name of the product in that so just assign 11981 if this non biodegradable is removed then assign this code this is the replacement code 11983 removal with reinsertion removing the old drug and inserting the new non biodegradable drug delivery implant then you have to assign this code 11983 and for any doubts or practicing questions you can request me on uh, cpc trainer at protonmail.com and uh, please don't uh, forget to mention the section name and uh, thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel like share and comment